guys okay so i've been trying all afternoon my cat has just given up and has gone to sleep now um but i've been trying all afternoon to make a video about some books you see the evidence is all around me and um my camera there it is has decided to break so what i'm gonna have to do is make the video on my phone so I apologise profusely because it's kind of going to be a little bit naff, I think. So please bear with me. And if it's really shaky, I'm so sorry. Right, so books that are really important. Well, this one's in shots. So let's let's go with this. Um, this is The Pitkin Guide, The Green Man. I really like this book. And I actually bought it from the, the gift shop at Chester Cathedral, of all places. <laughs> Um, I will put the ISBN numbers, it was four ninety nine. Uh, I'll put the ISBN numbers up um, as well in the description bar, just so that if you are interested, you can look them up. But this is an excellent book, it's by a gentleman called Jeremy Hart, and it basically goes through the law of the Green Man. It's a beautiful book, some beautiful images in it. Um, the History, Lord of the Greenwood, Forest Demons, sort of mythology associated with it, and, uh, you know, how the green man has evolved, and it's sort of a, a resurgence, a, a renaissance, Wild Men and Chimney Sweeps. It's just a very interesting book, and I highly recommend it, and Quest of the Green Man as well. Um, so it's got a list of different buildings and sites where you can see evidence of the Green Man. So the Green Man, the Pitkin Guide, and uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this book. Then here we've got a range of Scott Cunningham books. Now, <coughs> I'm going to only go over these very briefly because apart from the fact that this is about the seventh time I've tried to make this video um, these are all pretty well known there's lots of information about them on the internet so at the top there we've got the guide for the solitary practitioner which is basically a handbook a how-to guide and personally I really like anything written by Scott Cunningham not necessarily for content per se but the way in which it's written makes it really really easy to absorb um, it's in no way I don't find it patronizing in any way with some of the texts um, possibly come across as patronizing occasionally um, there's no assumption of knowledge but it also doesn't talk down to you I, I think that's what I'm trying to get across there um, and the the way the information is relayed is is very straightforward it it's kind of you know, you need to do this, then then you need to do that. And if you don't want to do it, then that's fine. Here's an alternative. So I would definitely recommend the Guide for the Solitary Practitioner for anybody starting out or, in fact, anybody that is just generally interested. Definitely check it out. My favourite book out of all of these has got to be Wicker in the Kitchen. Wicker in the Kitchen talks about food magic um, and then it lists... A variety of foods and alcohol and teas and coffees and every herb and spice and vegetable and fruit and meat product and even ice cream and it will give you some tell you some lore about that item and then also uh, there are correspondence tables and there are recipes that you can follow so it's very very for me I love cooking and um, obviously I love food <laughs> And so I just find that fantastic because it's just kind of how you, I weave my magic into everyday life. Um, similarly, Incense Oils and Brews is a similar sort of setup. It's kind of like your recipe book, your standard recipe book for incenses, for oils, for brews, for herbal sachets, for tinctures, ointment, inks. It's just a, it's kind of like, a, it's a must-have, really. Um, and then Spellcrafts, which Scott Cunningham did with David Harrington. This is a really good book. Even if you're not the most adept crafter, 
such as I am not. <laughs> um, it's brilliant because it's again quite straightforward, but teaches you how to make the magical potpourris and um, ojos or god's eyes and hex protection items. And what have we got here? Sand painting papers of power so there's stuff about candles in there it's it's really useful definitely recommend it the next book i want to talk about you might be familiar with this if you were in the community uh the simple sabbat it's by the lovely uh marie flora peterson also known as charming pixie flora to some and um, i know she has a new channel now and stupidly i haven't written the name down but um, this is Marie's book and it is absolutely fantastic it's kind of like a, a really concise how to guide that's just straightforward and simple and it's kind of one of those that you can chuck in your bag and you've got everything sort of noted down already ready to go so yeah I, I, I don't know what to say about it to be honest it's just I think you've got to have it <laughs> Let's see what it says on the back. So, it says, The Simple Sabbat is a compilation of simple and very eclectic Sabbat rituals, recipes, crafting ideas and factoids that anyone can use to celebrate the eight pagan holidays. There are rituals and ideas that any family can use yearly and they're, great, uh, they're a great way to connect to the seasons in nature and the turning of the wheel. This book can be a great teaching tool for parents to use to help teach their children these special days. That's very true, actually, yes. But there are recipes in there, and it goes through each of the sabbats. There's a section, there's always a section for notes, so you can scribble in there. Um, but it goes through, and it basically tells you law behind them, different correspondences, suggested activities, and then there are kind of like two um, ritual formats, a sort of very straightforward one, and something that's a little more... Um, what is the word I am seeking? Elaborate. So definitely, definitely get that one. And the ISBN, what we're we looking at here, is the ISBN. But I, I'll put them down. But you see, this book is a must have for every pain household, says Melanie. Melanie from One Ascension, which if you don't watch her channel, you should be doing so. Right, next. What else do I have? Um, <clears throat> I've got the Crystal Bible. I do love stones. I do. I absolutely love them. I haven't got fully into crystal collection, my crystal collection yet, mainly from a perspective that I know that I will go crazy. So I have a few select crystals and I like to know about them sort of very intimately. But the Crystal Bible by Judy Hall is definitely, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, it's got great photos, it's got great information, it's laid out in a very simple way and doesn't take up much room on your shelf. And it's just definitely, definitely a must have. So there you go. This is one of my favourite books. It's not massively pagan, I I'm not going to lie. Celtic Wisdom. Timeless wisdom in poetry and prose, and it is a sacred text, really. It's classed as a sacred text. Um, <clears throat> I'll just show you the back here so you can see the ISBN. It's from Watkins Publishing. But it's got things like the Irish blessings in, and things such as May the path rise to meet you, may you always have the wind at your back, may the sun shine warmly in your face, and the rain fall mildly amid the fields. And until we meet again, may gods keep you in their hands. It's just got, I mean, I've got a couple of things marked in it. Let's just have a look. It's quite difficult, one-handed. Oh, the red hair of a woman I have marked, or god of the, mo god of the moon, I think, is probably what I have marked there. So let's just see if I can not blind us all. So god of the moon... God of the sun, God of the globe, God of the stars, God of the waters, the land and the skies, who ordained to us the king of promise. It was Mary Fair who went upon her knee, it was the king of life who went upon her lap, 
Darkness and tears were set behind, and the star of guidance went up early. Illumined the land, illumined the world, illumined doldrum and current. Grief was laid and joy was raised. Music was set up and heart and pedal heart. You see, it's quite... And some of the, the Celtic stuff, obviously, then becomes quite Christianised. So some of it is rather Christianised, but then there are some very pagany things in here. But I quite like to read them, just out of interest. And also, you know, there's... I mean, there's stuff about visions of mysticism, the world of fairy. You know, there's kind of just cute things. And the three cauldrons of poesy, my perfect cauldron of warming, has been taken by the gods from the mysterious abyss of the elements, the perfect truth that ennobles from the centre of being, that pours forth a terrifying stream of speech. I am Anagin, white knee, with pale substance and grey hair, Accomplishing my poetic incubation in proper firms, forms. I haven't got my glasses on, so can you tell? Um, in proper forms, in diverse colours. The gods do not give the same wisdom to everyone. Tipped, inverted, right side up. No knowledge, half knowledge, full knowledge for Abaddon. The making of fearful poetry, of vast, mighty droughts, death spells, of great chanting. In active voice, in passive silence, in the neutral balance between. In rhythm and form and rhyme, in this way is spoken the path and function of my cauldrons. So, <coughs> Celtic Wisdom. I really, I really like this book. And actually it was brought for me by my mother-in-law one day. So, I, I quite like that one. Um, what else do I have? I have these two books which uh, kind of go together. Yes, if you're in the UK, get yourself to the works. We love the works. Uh, and this is the Geddesen... I can't think of the publisher. What are they called? Anyway, it's a guide to natural healing. And it's kind of just, you know, a manual. But it's brilliant. It's got herbal remedies, yoga, alternative therapies, aromatherapy, reiki, relaxation techniques, relieving stress, treating the inner self. And it is literally one of those, oh, this is wrong, what could I do? So... You know, there's a whole section on hypnotherapy, practical applications. It's just, you know, massive section on meditation, personal relationships, just stress, stress response. It's very, very, very informative. So if you like things like natural healing, I would definitely recommend it. And then there's... Um, you know, massage techniques in there as well. It's just, it's, it's a superb book. And look, it was at three ninety nine, three ninety nine. Uh, and then again, in a similar vein, I have this book, which I believe was given to me. I think somebody gave it to me when they were clearing out, I think possibly their mother-in-law's house when, after she died. Uh, and it's hints and tips from times past. And again, it's just fantastic for just little bits of sort of folk, folksy sort of remedies and things. So there's a natural health, beauty treatments around the house, kitchen secrets, what have we, have we got in the garden, and then fact file. So let's just take it to a random page. Floral hair lotion. Pamper your hair every now and then with conditioning treatment made from nourishing plant extracts and then it shows you how to make them and it's just it's a lovely lovely book so I, I'm going to as well start making some of these things I've also got which I haven't got out but the uh, the James Wong books I absolutely love James Wong he is like a god to me I love him so um <clears throat> I'm going to have to start making videos when I make stuff from these books actually and share with you. Another absolute bargain that is just perfect in my life. Uh, this book of herbs. Two quid. Two quid. It got reduced to 4 99 I got it for two quid. Um, and it's fantastic. It kind of reminds me actually of the, the Crystal Bible. But it goes through each of the different herbs. Let me find one. 
so like lemon verbena and it's just got a ton of information beautiful photographs very straightforward information and how you can use it how you can grow it what not to do with it um beautiful lovely little book and two quid and that was from a local garden center actually i picked that up but it's got one of those it's, it's hardback but then it's got a lovely squishy cover on it as well so really like this one um another gift from my mother-in-law who knows i'm a raging hippie uh pocket guide to trees which this is proving just absolutely essential for me um i have befriended a member of our moot is known as the woodman he's very very knowledgeable on trees and uh, i think i am a, a tr true disappointment to him because quite frankly he'll go what's that and i'll say a tree and then we repeat although i can now identify a lime tree in winter but of course there are four seasons in the year and i need to be able to identify more than just a lime tree so this is a pocket guide to trees and it really really is quite helpful i like to take it out when i go out walking and things and identify the trees so i can learn oh this video is just going to be so long we're already on 15 minutes i might i might make a part two i'll be right back 